In this video, we're going to make this big, beautiful flower. This is the Jillian. It has this great pom-pom center and it's large petals. So you can um, take up a lot of room on a wall or on a um, display with this one. With the lots of fillers in between. It's, it's a beautiful flower. So to get started, we'll take your petals just like we do all the time got the different sizes I lay them all out and we're just going to bend one side in and one side out I like using this um, wooden spoon gives you a little bit more bend Oops. there you go I'm going to do that to each one of them If you want a different look, you can do both of them in, both of them out. Just by changing the petal direction, you're bending it, can make the flower look completely different. So we're going to start with our largest petal. You take your flap, put just see what side, put a dab of glue here. And you just go over a little bit, just like that. So do every petal. This is a nice full flower. The center makes it really stand out from maybe some of the other flowers that you've made. It looks difficult, but it's very easy. Just petal. You go to the next size. And this one you're going to go cross over just a little bit more because you want it to stand up a little bit higher than this one does. And it's sitting there. You want it to have some dimension and stand up a little higher. And the way you get it to do that is by how much you cross over. See how the petal goes really high? So just a little bit. Try to keep them similar. Third size, we're going to go over a little bit more because now we want it to cup up even more than this one. So you do the same with all of these. The smallest one, since the pom-pom um, has a base on it, you'll see it when we roll it. Um, it this one needs to be a little bit higher because you, do, you don't want it to see the base. So you want it to cup a little bit more than maybe some of the other ones you've done. So. Just pull it over a little bit more so you really get that cup. Now, once you have all your petals, I do all of the, all my petals at the same time. So then, when I start to um, 
assemble. It's really quick. If you have a kit, you're going to get a center like this without the tape on it. And if you um, have a, a template, either a PDF or a um, SVG for your machines, you're going to get the circle. It'll, show you, it'll tell you um, how wide to make each circle for each size. So I'm going to put the glue on the back. And what I usually do is line up this little point with the end of the circle. It's a, it's a good way to be able to measure it without having petals that are too far in, too far out. You want them to be uniform. So let's go. And here I might just tuck this one in the back a little bit. So it went behind. This one's going to go in front. So you can always, um, I kind of look to see what the petal's actually doing. If this looks nice in front, I'll, I'll do it like that. If I don't want it, I like it tucked under. It all depends on what the paper is actually doing. To get a different um, a different effect, you may want to go all on top or all on the bottom. It's up to you. You can't make a mistake. I'm going to tuck it under. Give it all nice. You see, it's a very broad flower, so it's 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 a big stunner. It's really pretty once it's all made up. And the next. Um, size, I'm going to go in between the petals. I don't want to put one petal on another. I want to go in between the petals that were in the back. And again, just slide it up. And you're going to work your way all the way around. This one I'm going to put on top. Just touch it. And see how you get this dimension right here because you folded this one a little bit closer. get a different look. This flower has a lot of petals also. So if you feel like you don't want to use them all, you don't have to. Just want to make sure you have enough to make it nice and full. And do the same thing with the next layer. I'm going to go in between. And see how if I if I sit if I push down it sits up a little bit more. Put it underneath, snug it in. Do the same thing here. And because these these petals are so um, wide, this flower comes together very quickly. There we go. Now this is the last layer. Remember I told you I wanted to sit up a little higher, so I went over quite a bit, so because I want it to sit up. Go under. The center for uh, this flower, if you have um, a kit, you're going to receive two of these if they're already cut. If you have, um, if you ordered, I mean, if you got a template with an SVG, so your cutting machine, you're going to cut like this. If you have a PDF, you're going to have to cut all these lines. But I'll show you an easy way to do it. You can just cut down a 
Well, what I like to do is use these new multi-bladed scissors. I have these in the shop if you'd like to get them. I'll put the link below and it cuts four at a time. And you cut all the way down. I'm going to work with these. You need two of these. I have one here already done. And what you do is you fold over. This adds a, um, some volume to the to the center. You fold it. Don't press it down all the way. Just enough to crease it a little bit, and then fold it back. And it gives these loops a little more fullness. I'm going to glue it. And give it a good press. Now I'm going to start um, curling this one so that it's winding it up so that you get the center. But what I do is I give it a little score to help me help the paper know that it's going to be turning a certain direction and not fighting with it. I start with this one. Now what I also like to do is do a trial, like a trial run, just getting it kind of teaching it it's going to turn. As you roll it, it gets fuller and fuller. And then I start gluing it. Just a little at a time. Keeping it straight, straight on the edge. And then what I'll do is pat it down so that this stays flat because you don't want it to start winding up. You want it to be all even. If you want it tighter, you can make it tighter. number one. Then you're going to start number two. I don't do it right next to it. I, I go over just a little bit. Same thing. I'm going to, this one's not going to be as tight so I don't have to do it around something as small but this one will work because it's not going to be as tightly round as this one. So I'm going to start here. And then just complete, start circling. And rolling it. And you do it till you get to the end. nice big full center. I told you that I had I wanted this um, smallest petal to cup up a little more because I want it to cover that this um, it's not a stem but it's the, the base of it. So I don't want it to look like that. I don't want to be able to see it. So I'm going to bend these down.
Now it'll get bigger. And it'll fill up the hole. You put a big drop of glue right here. Put a little bit in the middle so it can come out. And it here. You just put it right in. Keep it down for a few seconds. You don't want it to move once you have it exactly where you want it. And that's it. This is the Jillian, and it's the perfect flower for make a big statement. You could have little ones tucked in, and another big one over here. Thank you. Enjoy.